News business insurance company Hiscox has been accused of refusing to pay out for disruption resulting from the coronavirus pandemic Monday, 13th of April 2020, 10.57am updated Monday 13th of April 2020, 11.07am insurers say the coronavirus pandemic is too large for them. Handle, photo, Getty the business secretary Alok Sharma is facing calls to intervene after at least a dozen companies said they had been denied payouts by insurance company Hiscox to cover disruption resulting from the coronavirus pandemic. Policyholders are in discussions with lawyers over either approaching the financial ombudsman or organizing a class action. They claim that Hiscox is refusing to honor a clause which gives customers coverage if premises are closed because of an occurrence of any human infectious or human contagion disease. The boss of one of the firms affected, the communications agency Media Zoo, has also written to Mr. Sharma, urging him to take action. Mark Killick the co-owner and creative director of the company, said, I am writing to tell you that at least one insurance company, Hiscox Insurance, seems determined to avoid its obligations. Hiscox is a regulated company and I would ask you to either investigate yourself or refer this matter to an appropriate regulatory authority as a matter of urgency. Sign up to our daily newsletter The iNewsletter, cut through the noise he added, if it is the case that in the current crisis Hiscox is refusing legitimate business interruption claims simply to preserve its own capital base, it is a disgrace and one that threatens the future of dozens of decent companies across the UK. Office Closure Protection Media Zoo said it had spent £13,425 on its Hiscox policy but had run into trouble claiming a payout. The firm said it particularly wanted office closure protection to ensure it for any inability to access a state-of-the-art post-production area where it makes films for clients. According to Mr. Killick, Hiscox has rejected the claims of MediaZoo and a number of other companies with no acceptable reason given. Rachel and Mark Pendert, the owners of MediaZoo, say Hiscox is avoiding its obligations however. Hiscox hit back at the allegations, saying it was the job of the government-backed coronavirus business interruption loan scheme to cover business losses, because COVID-19 was too large for insurers to handle. In a statement, a spokeswoman for Hiscox said, At Hiscox, we strive to pay claims that are covered by the policies we issue fairly and quickly. However, general business interruption policies across the industry, including Hiscox's, were not designed to cover the extraordinary circumstances caused by this pandemic. Pandemic too large to cover according to the insurer, its policies are designed to respond to localized events such as a crime or an occurrence of Legionnaire's disease. The government's decision to impose social distancing preventative measures to stop the spread of COVID-19 across the country is not directly aimed at limiting access to an individual business's premises, or any particular business premise. Like terrorism and flood, which have government-backed insurance schemes, pandemics like coronavirus are simply too large and too systemic for private insurers to cover. Hiscox was one of a clutch of big insurers alongside Aviva, RSA and Direct Line to cancel its dividend last week following pressure from the Bank of England. Let's block ads. Why?